To perform this work, you're going to need to begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle, as well as removing the brake caliper and the brake rotor. Though we'll go over it generally in this video, if you want additional instruction, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. With the vehicle safely up in the air, release the parking brake handle, making sure the parking brake shoes are all the way in. Remove the two caps, green arrows, and the two 7mm Allen head caliper pins under the caps and remove the caliper. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance. Remove the two 16mm fasteners, green arrows, that mount the caliper brake to the rear spindle. Remove the 5mm Allen head fastener that secures the brake rotor to the hub flange. Use a rubber mallet to tap the brake rotor off. The brake rotor does not come off, you may have to loosen the parking brake adjustment. Again, follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional procedures and steps with doing that. With the rotor off, use a 5mm Allen head and twist the parking brake shoe hold down spring 90 degrees in either direction. This will line up the flat tab at the back and the hold down spring and flat slot in the backing plate, releasing the spring. Once free, remove the spring from the brake shoe. Check for rust and corrosion and replace as needed. Do the same thing on the other brake shoe. Make a mental note of where the upper brake shoe mount, red arrow, fits into the expanding bracket, green arrow, so you know where to place them during installation. Use a dull pair of cutting pliers to grab the parking brake shoe return spring and unhook it from the hole in the parking brake shoe. I recommend you only do the upper spring for the moment. Separate apart the upper part of the parking brake shoes until they are wide enough to get around the axle flange. The shoe assembly will still be held together by the lower spring and adjusting unit. Lay the assembly on a flat surface. Remove the two springs, green arrows, and thread in the adjusting screw, blue arrow, until it is fully retracted. Inspect all components for rust and damage and replace as needed. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.